this video, I will show you the difference of weathering, erosion, and deposition. Second, how weathering, erosion, and deposition occur. And lastly, what are the agents and result of weathering, erosion, and deposition? Earth's surface is covered by rocks. These rocks undergo series of geologic process known as the exogenic process. This includes weathering, erosion, and deposition. Now, how are these three processes connected? Let's start with weathering. Weathering is a process by which rocks are broken into smaller fragments, chemically or physically. Mechanical weathering happens when a large rock breaks into pieces physically without alternation in its chemical composition. Since frozen water is a higher value than the liquid water, so the ice expands each night and ledges to rocks and hold open deeper as rocks is broken to pieces fall and collect. The base of a cliff blowing creating a tall slopes, a good clue that frost wedging is happening above. Exfoliation is a process where change in pressure and too much heat causes rock particles to expand and to contract and cool. Alternate expansion and contraction also result to breaking of rocks. Chemical weathering requires chemical reaction between rocks, minerals, and other substances in environment in order to break rocks. So we have three major types of chemical reaction can occur during this reaction, including desolation, oxidation, and hydrolysis. The factors of affecting weathering is climate, rock type, rock structure, slope, and duration of exposure. Now let's discuss the erosion and deposition. Erosion is the process when rock particles move from one place to another. As agents of erosion carry the rock's particles, they lose energy such as point that they no longer hold them. Rock sediments are the entrap to the certain location, usually of lower innovation, this process is called deposition. Deposition by which sediments are dropped off by agents of erosion. Erosion takes place due to the following agents. Water, wind, and lastly, the gravity. Gravity is a major force that drives erosion and deposition. The agents of erosion are water, wind, and ice or gravity. And lastly, the agents of deposition is water. Water is the strongest agent of deposition. And wind is the weakest agent of deposition. And that's all. Thank you.